Hi, my name is Mary Axifer, and I wanted to share with you today my salvation testimony. My testimony, or the story of how I've came to trust Jesus Christ as my Savior, actually begins with my mother. My uh, mother was the first person in my family to uh, trust Christ as her Savior, and she did so when she was in her um, early 30s, and she had already uh, by this time been married and had three of her five children. So by the time I uh, came along in 1973, my mother had already been saved for a few years and she was a maturing Christian. Um, it would be several more years before my dad um, would be saved. So in my early childhood, I have um, a real a collection of wonderful memories of my mother. Uh, I remember her just living out her Christian life in real practical ways. She was someone who was very kind and very loving. I, I can remember her spending time in Bible reading and in prayer. And of course, I have these wonderful memories of my mom um, really sharing her faith with us, her children. Uh, I can remember her at lunchtime sharing Bible stories with us, and at bedtime she'd do devotions with us and read missionary stories, and she would sing hymns to us and um, pray with us. So I have a lot of these wonderful memories. And I should mention at this time my, that we didn't um, attend church as a family. Um, so it wasn't something that she, that my mom was a certain way on Sunday when we went to church and maybe another way the rest of the week. My mom was very consistent. She was who she was and she just was this loving um, Christian uh, woman, mother, and, and so it left quite an impression on me. So when I was five years old, I can remember a definite time when my mom uh, brought me to her bedroom for a, um, a talk, a quiet talk, and she shared with me how important it was that I asked the Lord to forgive me of my sins and I needed to receive Jesus Christ as my Savior so that I could have a home in heaven one day. And I don't remember exactly how it was all presented to me, but I do know that I believe what my mom said and I, I had every reason to trust uh, her words. And so I remember I knelt by her bed with her and we prayed together and I did receive Jesus Christ as my Savior, and of course that was something totally wonderful. So as I uh, got older, I do remember that I did have a growing uh, desire in my heart to go to church. I can remember that definitely that other children attended church, and I wanted to too. And so I kind of, I think, pestered my mom a bit, and finally, she was able to find a good Bible-believing church for us to attend together. And it just started out with me and mom attending church. And then I think after a little while, an older brother and older sister started to attend with us. And then eventually, my father started to come. And that was really special because I think within about two years of attending church together, my father came to trust Jesus Christ as his own savior. And uh, it wasn't that he didn't have any background, he had an Anglican background growing up, but he uh, finally came to understand the, the simple gospel message as presented in the Bible. And so after studying, I think, the book of Romans, he asked the Lord to be his savior. And so that was a special time in my life too, because now I had a, both a mother and a father that were kind of pulling in the same uh, direction and it was it just made it a, a special time in our in our family so when I was 12 years old um, our family decided to start attending a missionary Bible church in Halifax and that was that was great I, I had a new collection of friends and it also meant that I was um, I started attending a, a new Bible camp in the summer times in New Brunswick, and it was called Tay Valley um, Bible Camp. And at that camp, I just I just loved it, and I was exposed to some really great Bible preaching and some really challenging messages. And I do remember um, 
that we really were challenged uh, through the preaching of the Bible at camp to really examine our hearts to see if we were in the faith, um, did we have a genuine uh, Christian conversion, uh, and of course the importance of it was emphasized that um, the teaching about heaven, there was teaching about hell, and, and it was just so important um, to be sure of our salvation. One verse um, that I like is 2 Corinthians 13, 5, that says, Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. And, you know, after about two years of going to this camp and being exposed to this great preaching, I remember that I I wanted to um, really have assurance of my salvation. Um, by this time, I was, I think I was 14, and my memories of, of kneeling by my mother's bed had become very fuzzy, and I, I really didn't know for sure what I had under even, even understood at that time. Um, so did I understand that Jesus Christ um, was the Son of God? Did I understand that um, He had died in my place as my substitute, that... Um, that he had rose from the grave three days later. I really wasn't sure. I I don't know. I I couldn't, I couldn't remember. And so I really needed that assurance. And so I remember staying after one of the services. I stayed out uh, outside the the little chapel on the hill and I prayed. I just said, um, Lord, if if I'm not saved, would you please save me? And if I am, would you just keep me? And, um, Help me to mature. So it was. It was simple, but it was definite. A wonderful time, and uh, and then I can remember another special time when I was getting on into my teen years. I can remember going for a walk one day with an older sibling, and we were having a heart to heart. It was a really um, a loving conversation, and that sibling saying to me, um, "Mary, do you know that you don't." have to follow the path that mom and dad have chosen for themselves. You don't, you don't have to choose the same path. And it was special because it was kind of like a defining moment for me. It was, I had to, you know, quickly examine my own heart. And I was able to say to my, to this sibling, um, yeah, but I do want to be like mom and dad. I, I do want to, to, live the Christian life. I, I, I do want to try to follow Jesus Christ. And, and it was special. And you know, the nice thing was is that my older sibling said, that's fine. If that's, if that's what you want, then I think that's great. And so that also, those kind of uh, moments can kind of are very maturing because you're beginning to define who you are to those around you. And so that was special too. And then when I was um, 16 years old, I can remember, too, uh, deciding to follow the Lord in uh, baptism. Now, this is something that the Lord has asked us to do just once. We're to do it when we're um, after we're saved. And it's a way to identify with the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And it's also a time in which we are telling those who are uh, maybe witnessing our baptism that we are purposing in our heart to walk in newness of life. And so that was a a very special time. I can remember that. So in the Bible, it says, uh, in Romans uh, chapter 6, verse 4, it says, Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. And so this um, opportunity to be baptized was um, a special time. So I am uh, 47 years old now, and time has marched on, and I'm very thankful for the life that God has given me. There has been um, a lot of blessings. I'm so thankful for my parents. They're great, um, and they've been very godly. Um, I'm thankful for my family that God has given me, for my husband Duran and my son Benjamin. I'm, I'm thankful for my friends and just um, 
He's given me opportunities to serve him, and I've, and I've really appreciated that. But of course, um, as well as um, blessings, there have been challenges, there's been difficulties, and of course, on, for my part, there's faults and failures and shortcomings, lots of those. But I'm so thankful um, that my Savior is perfect, and He is always good, and um, He has shown great uh, mercy and grace in my life, for which I am thankful. And I'm glad that I can trust Him with my future. So thank you for taking the time to listen to my testimony. I hope it was a blessing, and take care. Bye-bye.